Hello everybody, welcome at CNC machining tutorial. My name is Peter and in today's video I will provide you some basic information about punching tools which are used at CNC punching machines. We will talk about full punching set. You may ask what is a full punching set, what parts is it consist of and how to set it up. No worries, I'll explain you everything so let's get started. Okay guys, so as first as you see I'm wearing gloves, it's uh, very needed because uh, your sweat of your hand can cause some uh, rust damage on the tools. So just wear gloves if you are working with tools and it also keep your hands clean, right? So the full punching set consists of cartridge, die plate, die this is die size 2 if you are using die size 1 for uh, the difference in the sizes you need to use the and die adapter the next part is stripper punch an alignment ring and i also like to use a magnetic plate where you will write what uh, punch uh, is in the cartridge. Okay, so how to put all these parts together? So, if you are using the die size one, you have to put the die into the die adapter. So, the die has a notch, the die adapter has a pin. So, there is only one way how to put it in, in there. So just gently slide the die into the die adapter. There are two screws, so just tie, tie them up. As we put the die into the die adapter, the same apply for the die adapter and the die plate. There is a notch, there is a pin, so there is only one way how to put it in there. Just like that. Take your cartridge and slide the die adapter with die into it. There is some clamps, so it's gonna hold it, just like this. The next step is put the punch into the alignment ring. Okay guys, now I'll show you how to put the punch into the alignment ring. Uh, we have three kinds of alignment rings. So about these two we will talk later. And for now we are gonna use this alignment ring for this kind of punch. So just put the punch into the alignment ring and uh, put it into the quick set. Uh, just keep on mind, uh, keep the screw on the top, okay? Don't put it there like this because it's also option, but don't do that. Put it like uh, with the screw up, but naturally you are gonna have to put it in this way because after that you have uh, nice access uh, to the screw, right? You don't want to do it in this way, it's, it's really hard. So naturally you are gonna have to do it in this way. Just tighten it up. If you want to use uh, bigger power for tightening up the screw, just take it down, take it away, and uh, you can use this uh, slot in the quick set on the left corner. And now you can use uh, bigger power to tighten it up. Okay, so, and that's it for the, for the round. 
If you are about to use an oblong, you have to take care about the degree uh, of the punch with the alignment ring, right? Because you have to set it up in the zero degree position, which is this position. You cannot do it like this or like that, right? It has to be in a zero. For that, we use uh, this part of quick set. Just uh, press on the top part of quick set, press it down, help yourself a little bit with thumb. Okay, and now it's in the zero degree position. So tie the screw. Okay, and that's it. Uh, between this, this surface and the punch, there isn't any gap. It's nice flat, so it's good to go. And you can verify that you do it correctly if you put um, the punch with alignment ring in this holder. No worries, in this holder, there is only one way how to put it in there, right? So you have only, only one, one option uh, because uh, in other degree, it won't lock. It locks in the correct position. Now we want to verify that the punch will go into the die without any collision. So take your die which you want to use. And here also there is one notch, there is one pin, only one way. Okay, so it goes like that. Once you press on the top part of quick set, press it down. See the punch nicely slide into the die. If you would like to use a special shape punch, this is a round with a pin, so there isn't any, there isn't any surface uh, to use for alignment. So for that reason, there is this kind of surface over here. Okay, so just put it in there, lock it, use this part of quick set, press the bridge down, and that's it, then you can see yeah, there isn't any gap, so just tie it up and that's it. This part is good to go. We want to verify that there won't be any collision, so put it here. Use your die what you want to use with the punch. Uh, of course, it has to, has to have the same, same shape, right? Makes sense. Okay, see? If you have no collision in uh, quick set, you will not have any collision on the machine. So no worry, this tool is good to go. Next step is uh, put the punch with the stripper together. Use this tool, it's really helpful. You just uh, put these parts into, the, into this tool and it will hold them and then Slide it into the cartridge and use your thumb and hold the punch and then remove. The alignment ring with punch goes into the cartridge in this way. There is only one way how to put it in there, so no worries. You cannot do it in a wrong, uh, in a wrong position because the cartridge has a pin and the alignment ring has a hole. So there is only one way how, how it fits in there, okay? So no worries, you really have no chance to do it uh, wrong. The magnetic plate, put it here, and that's it. If you want to undo this cartridge, the full punching set, You will just press here, it will release the die. And then you want to undo the punch and the stripper. So use this thing again, slide it in, and there is a hook in there. For release the hook, you have to press this small plate, this small plate over here. I'm using the Allen key for that. So just press on it and remove it. As you can see, the hook is over here. If I press on the plate, there is this movement, so it release the die. Uh, sorry, it will release the, the, the stripper. 
See, I have no chance to remove it without, uh, re without pressing this plate. So just press it, the hook goes up and then release it. Okay, so that's it. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it and it was useful for you. For the future, I'm planning to do more tutorials about punching tools so we will go much deeper. We will go through all the shapes and kinds of punches and dies and also through the forming tools and I will show you how to set up these tools at the control panel of the machines. I will do also some tutorials with laser cutting and CNC programming. So if you don't want to miss anything, subscribe my channel and take care and see you later.